ages ago, an evil artifact was created. An item so mighty in my hands, it would unleash a nightmare onto the land. For 30 centuries, it has remained hidden. After pursuing every whispered rumor and battling for 100 years through countless foul pits, its dark power is finally within my reach. Retribution is at hand. Nothing can keep me from it. There is no path too perilous or hazard too great. The specter of death does not daunt me. For I am already dead. Giving birth to this nightmare is my most coveted dream. I will see them all burn. The orb of Falazur is mine. What chance does Ishmir have against me now? Sir, the problem remains that Halifax has threatened not to sign your law for the new sewer if you cut off the supply of wheat. So, as you can clearly see, we must act now. My lord? Are you listening to me? All I do is listen. My days are filled with nothing more than figures and reports and compromise. I'm growing as soft as the velvet cushions upon my chair. Sir Beric, you are a minister in the House of Lords. Urgent matters of state are at hand. This should be your concern, not some boyish duel. My lord! Valerius! Have you forgotten all my lessons? You parry when you should attack. The captain of the King's Guard should always press forward. Forward, boy! Fetch that rusty blade of yours and let us settle this in the battle circle. Unless, of course, you prefer that I come up to your chamber, where we might joust with, um, quills. <laughs> <laughs> This is Sir Beric, 
former captain of the King's Guard, and at one time, my teacher. Sir Beric, I sincerely hope this doesn't keep you from your duties as royal tax advisor. As of this moment, Valerius, the instructions resumed. Well done, Sir Beric. You have beaten me. Barely. You're the most talented of all my students, Valerius. The care of the king is in good hands. Officers, prepare your men. We march at dawn. King's company! I long to join you. There's nothing quite like lying exhausted on the battlefield, victorious. Your place is here, in Ishmael. On the contrary, my value lies in the field. You saw the results in the battle circle. I did. Unfortunately, you did not. Instead of the plume, it could have been your head. You let me win? Why? Beric, you will always be my captain, and I will never forget what you have taught me. Especially this last lesson. And what lesson is that? To recognize when it's time to sheathe your sword for good. Yok, ma, do, vonium. Damn it, Beric. Now, is that any kind of language for the wife of the Lord? I have picked up some dubious habits since we met. Well, it's always been my ambition to sully the virtue of a well-bred mage. Virtue's the least of my worries. What's wrong, Lana? I bought this scroll from the temple of Obad High. I've been trying to mend these gloves using divine magic. Unsuccessfully, I might add. Divine magic? Mm. There are two different forms of magic. Majors like myself work with the arcane. Our power comes through knowledge and endless hours of study. But divine magic is completely different. It's granted by the gods. Certainly nobody in Ishmir can do it, which is why, if I'm successful, a position on the Council of Majors is guaranteed. Well, don't let me stand between you and greatness. Tioc ma do Livonium doc uvana. Perhaps we were destined to remain in our current stations. Excuse me. Yes? Is there something we can help you with? Sir Beric, I've traveled from Saragasso. An evil has descended on our village. What kind of evil? 
It's something terrible. Deep inside Mount Hearth, two of our menfolk entered the cave on its slope yesterday morning. They have yet to return. Please. We need your help. Stay behind me. Dikos, Minas, Mil, Cabal. into some unknown source of evil deep in the mountain. Evil, yes. Unknown, maybe not. Barak, do you know what this is? When I was with the Freebooters, we plundered the ruins of ancient Turan. Barak, hurry. And there we discovered hieroglyphics, which depicted Please, Sir Beric. What are we going to do? What shall I tell my people? Tell them to flee. The tomes of Turan. This is all we have left of their civilization. Should we wake the Council of Majors? No. Let's first find out if the Turanians can shed any light on this. Are these similar to the hieroglyphics you saw in the temple? They're identical. It's indecipherable. Maybe the text is hidden. Look, all the symbols are jumbled the same way in the books. If we can figure a way to combine them in the right order... That could order... take weeks. A vision spell might reveal how to decipher these books immediately. What do you need? Uh, four sticks of ivory and some incense. The expensive kind. Good thing I'm an lord. Liliani Ormani Meilexital. Turanian mages. Uh, the, the, there was a sphere, a black orb. And then. Oh, oh, I, can't, I can't remember. Oh, your eyes cold. It's just the strain of the spell casting. I'll be fine. Melora, your hair. I'm taking you to a healer. Look.
What does it say? Can you decipher it? Be the snowflake, the cleansing flame, the ancient stone, the endless wind. The four elements. My God. The Libra. A dragon buried in Half Mountain. What is this I hear of creeping poison and buried dragons? My dear girl, are you so covetous of a position in council that you're willing to fabricate a drama? With all due respect, she's not fabricating anything. I saw it with my own eyes. What did you discover? Not I, Your Majesty. 3,000 years ago, Falzior, the evil dragon god of decay and undeath, descended upon the ancient civilization of Turan. The Turanian mages drew their power from the elemental forces of nature, earth, air, fire, and water. And they had become so powerful that they refused to pay Falzior tribute. Whole cities were raised. Thousands died, but in the end, the Turanians were able to defeat the Night Dragon. Nonsense. You can't kill a god. But the Turanians were able to imprison Falzior within Hearth Mountain and trap his powers in a black orb. Where did you hear such tales? Ibram of Turan. I've heard, but how? Where? Here. Here? In Ishmir's library. Hidden for a thousand years. Tell me more about this orb. Where is it kept? Even without all his powers, Falzior is still a mighty dragon. There's no prison that could hold him indefinitely. So the Turanians placed the orb in some kind of suspended animation that kept the dragon dormant. Then they built a fortress around the orb to ensure that Felgeur would never rise again. So why does he stir now? The Turanians never recovered from their battle with Felgeur. Their cities crumbled and their magic was lost. For over a thousand years now, there has been no one to maintain the defenses guarding the orb. Your Majesty, we fear that someone has penetrated the weakened Turanian fortress and removed the orb from its suspension. So when will Thalajur awaken? The Libram says the Night Dragon will free himself by the dark of the first new moon. And the land will be consumed by wickedness. He will kill us all. Osklitherai Stax Nazro. What are they doing? It's a discern location spell. They're combining their power to try and find the orb. Netandu bifun il kumash. I have broken your paltry spell. You were right to cower before me. It is good practice for the coming age. For I am Damodar. My master, Profian. Cursed me to return as a corpse creature should I fail him, which I did not! He was killed before the damnation could be removed. For one hundred years, my sole companion was unbearable agony. But now, I am whole again. And the orb of Falazur is mine. I will annihilate the descendants of those who defeated me when the almighty and all-encompassing power of the Night Dragon awakes. He will grant me a boon, and I will rain down my revenge. You! 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 you. What, did you see? what happened, Oberon? What did you see? Did you see the orb? Ishmir is in grave danger. 
she's so beautiful. Don't you think? Pretty, pretty. Not for much longer. Tell Valeris to return to Ishmael City at once. The fate of the kingdom may depend upon it. Your Majesty. Sir Beric, how is Melora? Still weak from the vision spell. But she will no doubt be ready to help the other mages when the time comes. We need to get the orb from Damodar, but his spells have prevented us from divining its whereabouts. I wish to summon five of Ishmael's greatest heroes. A party small enough not to alert Damodar to its presence, but strong enough to take the orb from him. You have summoned Valerius, but he will only be back in three days. Any delay may prove fatal. I shall go in his stead. Beric, it is my belief that if Ishmir is to be saved, it will be by your hands. I summoned you here to help me choose your comrades. I should start with Lux. No one in Ishmir is more ferocious in battle. Reckless temperament runs in that family. You bloody fool. My map! He and I were part of the party that stormed the ghost tower of Inverness. Gentlemen, shoes are not allowed in this sacred space. His piety is only matched by his power. Sorcery must be fought with sorcery. There's always Ormelie. Of course, the elf wizard. But she hasn't left her island in decades. Yes, I know. Wizard, eh? Of what? Bait fishing? <laughs> She's a skillful adventurer. And it is rumored that she seeks a challenge great enough to test her powers. We must impress upon her the importance of this quest. Although he is sometimes as dark as the shadows that he walks through, if secrecy is the goal of this quest, no one is more stealthy than Nim. The rogue? St. Palis are pure-hearted, ripe for the pickings, just like I promised. There's your share. Now beat it. Are you trying to cheat me? I'm not trying, Runt. I'm doing it. Formidable crew. It is my experience that those with such talent are difficult to control. It is this level of skill that will save Ishmir. Without it, we have nothing. Beric, you must not fail. The forces of evil are gathering, and the righteous citizens of Ishmir are in peril. You five have been summoned here to represent them and to be the champions of all that is good. Cunning, wisdom, intelligence, and a strength, together but without direction. Beric, it is your duty to lead this quest. You must find Falajur's orb and return it to Ishmir. It shall be done. To the Council of Mages goes the task of discovering how to place the orb back into suspended animation. Without that knowledge, its recovery is useless. Two perilous tasks, 
Both must be completed before the Night Dragon awakes and destroys us all. If one fails, they both fail. But do not despair. Proceed in the belief that your comrades will succeed. And we will be victorious. I'm ready. What do we have tonight? Drow. The barbarian is very beautiful. Laura, you know she was chosen for her skill in battle, not her looks. Mm -hmm. So you agree that she is beautiful? <laughs> you waste your energy on such thoughts, but I will not leave you while you're unwell. Eric, I'll be fine. You must go. This illness is unnatural. My strength is returning. I'm really preserving it for the days ahead. Ishmael needs you more than I. Hey, Ro, you want a hand up? You'll be the one who'll be needing a hand if you don't take that paw off me. Rogue, it's too early to be spilling blood. Even for me. Sir Beric, I don't have to remind you that time is of the essence. I understand all too well, Your Majesty. It is precisely for this reason that we journey to Malik's boat. Malik built a pool of sight. It will penetrate Damodar's defenses and show us the location of the orb. Then, Ormeline can teleport us there. Many adventurers have sought Malik's boat. None have returned. Ishmir is at risk. So risks are what we must take. Do you know the location of this evil place? I don't. But I know who does. Who? The Goblins of Kirtle. Tell me, Lux, what did your brother see at the Barrier Peaks that drove him crazy? 
Tread carefully, rogue. I am treading carefully. I was at the Lincroft in the night. Yat killed all those people. As was I. Yes, and if memory serves, it was your sword that ended his madness. How can be sure that she too won't go berserk and put us all at risk? Do you doubt my control? The next time you try that, you better kill me. As captain of the King's Guard, duty demanded that I confront your brother. Duty is why I'm on this quest. And I have no quarrel with you. Consider it an incentive. But, sir, the Librum remains a mystery. Why, if they intended for us to use their magic, would the Turanians hide it so well? I'm sure the Turanian mages did not want this might falling into unworthy hands. Which it obviously has. But how do we prove our worth to mages dead over a thousand years? What is this? Explain. I'm summoning a magmin. For what purpose? Well, the Turanians drew their power from the elemental forces of nature. I, I thought perhaps a creature born of fire and earth might provide insight into their law. A magmin is of moderate intelligence at best. What knowledge do you hope to gain? Well, perhaps such a small creature will be the first step in unraveling the bigger mystery. Continue, but be careful, for you look unwell. And magmen are as wild and dangerous as the forces that birthed them. You're dying. Your body is decaying from the outside in. When the corruption reaches your brain, you will die. 
and then be reborn as one of the undead. Like Damodar. I think Damodar penetrated my vision spell. Is it possible he infected me with the same curse that afflicts him? He will need a part of you to maintain the curse. My hair. Somehow he took some of my hair. How can this be? Perhaps the orb gave him such vulgar power. do I have? I cannot say. But the strain of spell casting will hasten the end. Malora. If I've been hard on you over the years, it's only because I saw in you the potential to be a great mage. I'm truly sorry. Sean Wood. Must we travel through this corrupted place? It is the shortest way to the Mudwash River. From there, we can sail to the goblin village of Kirtle. Going around would take too long. Well, can't you just teleport us there? As I have never been to Kirtle, I have nothing to visualize. I might teleport us a hundred leagues in the wrong direction. What are your thoughts, Nim? I think never before have I heard such blubbering. <laughs> Some champions. The rogue is right. Barak, lead on. We trust you. Blessed are the works in nature that provide for those in need. there's something you can be doing to help. What do you think the goblins of Kirtle know of Malak anyway? The goblins worship the demon Jubilex. Together they helped Malak build the Pool of Sight. <sighs> you don't say. Malak used the pool to find virgins on the eve of their weddings. He would teleport into their chambers and steal them back to his vault. There he would sacrifice them to the demon lord. Then you know how Malak died. About a hundred years ago, Malak got caught in the act. Hung, drawn, and caught it, and pieces of his body were dipped in acid. Body dipped in acid. Yes, yes, we've all heard that one before. Do you want to know what really happened? Speak your mind, Rogue. As a cruel joke, Jubilex created a flaw within the pool of sight. Unbeknownst to Malik, every time he used it, there's a chance he would get an imperfect vision. About a uh, hundred years ago, Malak teleported himself into a brick wall. Hmm. Why don't you go and give Lux a hand? Sure thing. Lux! Nim! 
It's Dorian! Hey, Ferrek! Ferrek, Ferrek, I'm hurt! Help me, Ferrek! Dorian, how did this happen? How do you think it happened? This damn tree fell on me! Come on, get it off me! Transgress into the necropolis of Klex the Malign. <laughs> Most recently, I have been experimenting with a spell to disintegrate one limb at a time. Let me show you how far I've progressed. <laughs> Lana Hatana Mignagal. Me! The lich is too powerful! Bilger Crook Fella. Kill them all. Drain their lives. Back to the raft! Now! seem to have left yours in the lich. I want it back. When this is over. Want some? What troubles you, Barry? I blundered into that trap like a... Farm boy on his first campaign. Fool. You punish yourself unnecessarily. Going off alone to save a comrade is a brave deed. Brave? I nearly got us all killed. But you didn't. Obadiah's benevolence saw to it. We got lucky. And there's too much at stake to rely on luck. But I... There's a weapon for good, other than magic and steel. What is it, then? That's something you'll have to discover for yourself. But when you've found it, you'll know what it is. There's a vital element in the Tyranian magic that we fail to understand. We're lacking something. Malora. I can still help. Give me your hand.
Your heart still beats. But understand that the first sign of your conversion to the undead, I will incinerate you. The forces of evil hear the call of the orb. They wait to pick the rotting dead carcass of Ishmael. Good times. Indeed. is beyond your mastery. You wield but only a fraction of its might. Enough to fry your rotten bones and send you back to whatever foul pit you crawled out from. Perhaps, but you misunderstand my intentions. I am on a mission of goodwill. <laughs> Lord Davida, is it your ambition to reunite Falajo with the Org? Thus unleashing his evil onto the world. You may count on it. I would be dismayed if the spread of misery across the land occurred without my contribution. A lich has loyalty to none but itself. Lord Davida, a quest has set out from Ishmir. Five champions sail towards the goblins of Kurtle. Five champions, you say? More like five field mice unaware the hawk's shadow has fallen on their backs. Let them think in their ignorance that Ishmi still has hope. It'll make it all the sweeter when they are torn to pieces. <laughs> Goblins, where are they? It's a massacre. Who could have done this? Not who, but what? Now. This looks like the shaman's hut. If there's any clues to Malik's vault, they'll be in here. Oh, Malin, see if there's any magic. Devante McTaloon. Is it? I need time and study to determine its function. There's a secret door beneath the bed. Your wit should be as fast as your hands. It's a trap. Stand back. All of you. A 
I want you all to see what would have happened if I wasn't here. Go ahead. You saved my life. I'm in your debt. No, you're not. Nobody's ever given me anything before, so the, uh, that makes us even. Stomach acid of a purple worm. Eat through anything. to Malik's vault. Damodar will never know what hit him. It's an ambush! Everybody, out! tears of the earth are dried. There the hidden things are clear. There the works of life are tried by a juster judge than here. If any of you wish to depart this quest, the time is now. There will be no turning back once we enter Malik's vault. So you will continue on? Alone, if need be. There are friends and families to protect. And there is no dishonor in choosing them over Ishmi. Well, I've no friend, no family. And I would like to repay Damodar for this treachery. I, too, will join you. I'm with you to the end. Our duty is to Ishmir. The orb comes first. Dorian would have wanted it that way. But if there's a chance to kill Damodar in the process, then by all means, let's gut the bastard. Lord 
Oberon. Mm -hmm. Sir, look. These runes start on page 892 and end on page 894. Page 893 is missing. Has it been torn out? No. Look. 892 is on one side. 894 on the other. Either 893 never existed, or it has been concealed. What do the runes say? They say fire reveals all. Is it your belief that setting fire to the Librum will reveal page 893? This is what the Magman was trying to show us. We can't burn the Librum. We need proof before we can proceed with such a drastic measure. Lord Oberon, she is part undead. This idea might originate from the evil that corrupts her body. My lord, uh, test your heart. Does this belief come from what you are or what you are becoming? My heart. My heart tells me that this is a test of our belief. The Turanian law remains closed to us because we have yet to show our faith in it. We must prove ourselves worthy of this power. Lamare. <laughs> The map says it's supposed to be in this hollow. 
Everyone over here, take a look at this. A gem of true seeing. I never knew you had such a treasure. I come prepared for everything. Well done, Nim. Vinlana Hatana Mignagal. To all trespassers, if you wish to join the others in death, insert your name below and I will notify your kin. Malak. It appears Malak was not without a sense of humor. Yes, but how do we get in? This is not good. Be on the lookout. Beric, remember the shrine of Koatoa? Yes. This is a puzzle lock. If we can spell out the right password... Bandage! Lock! Ormelie, hold them off! This must be more of Damodar's treachery. mobilize the cavalry as soon as we got your message. The bulk of our legions will arrive on tomorrow's eve at the earliest. Valerius, tonight is the dark of the moon. We will have to hold until then. Any word of Beric on your travels? Do not put your faith in him, your majesty. Any hope of saving Ishmael will come from the king's guard and the strength of our steel. I think Malor has stumbled upon the essence of the Turanian law. It's altogether a new kind of magic, something we've never seen before. 
Could be powerful. Yes, the girl's daring is invigorating me. Gives us all hope. That's good. Thank you, Peter. Amazing. She believes, and the law opens up to her. Pico! Careful. Single fire. through your gem. Nothing. But the gem doesn't pierce anything mundanely concealed. Perhaps I can help. Fly. This is Ona. A friend of mine since childhood. She will investigate for Maybe a device to turn the energy field off. Search the walls, the floor, the ceiling. Beric, I think there's something behind this wall. Stand back. Strange. It looks like a mirror. Um, some type of lever. A very complex mechanism. You'll have to all look away. What for? I'm about to employ ancient secrets of the Rogue's Guild that I alone in the world have the ability to execute. And I wanted to stay that way. Just hurry up, Nim.
The mirror reflects a path. Okay, I'll go first. Ormelin, you follow, then Lux. Nim, you bring up the rear. If we stay on the path, we should be safe. Watch the mirror. Try to figure out how to operate this foul device. Nip, make haste! He's not going to make it. Nip, only a few more steps. Jump, Nim, jump! Is he alive? Ormeline, can you teleport him to a healer? I have only two teleportation spells prepared. One to take us to Damodar, another for the return trip to Ishmael. He'll have to stay with us. Malak. The pool retains the image of its last use. The operation is simple enough. We need only think of a subject or object, and its location will be revealed in the pool. I can teleport us to that destination. But this apparatus was constructed by a fiend, and success is not guaranteed, as you can see. We are fortunate. The room appears free of obstructions. Omelie. You hit him with a lightning bolt. Lux, you know what to do. I'll go for the orb. Ormelin. Let's get on with it. Monos, Betori, Holo, Gibran. Ishmael's heroes in the flesh. And this is the best you can do. Ishmael must be really desperate to have sent such fools. I was tempted to keep you alive so you could witness the destruction of your beloved city. Unfortunately, I have never been able to control my urges, even as a dead man.
Hold on. We're almost home. Hormelin. Can you teleport all of us to Ishmi? I can cast the spell, but I cannot join you. Not like this. Take us to the Temple of Obadiah. They are the best healers in the land. Lux, prepare a tourniquet. <laughs> Ready when you are. Very well. Monos, Patori, Hola, keep around. Please forgive me. Just saved Ishmir. Now they must be saved. Your friends will be attended to. Now you must go. There are horses in the stable. Beric! We've been followed. You must fly. What about you? I will buy you time to get to Ishmir. Take this. Come, villainy. Death awaits you. Done it. Melora. Where's Melora? Beric! Damada has cursed her. You found the orb. I knew you would. Quick, place it here while there's still time. This is what I saw in my vision. The Turanian mages.
Where's the orb? Damodar's graces. He wants you for himself. Well done, Lynch. We'll see. This day, my life begins anew. remains as your thrall. This Ishmael shall be raised to mark the beginning of my reign. Your tribute will be 100 heads for every new moon in honor of my release. As you wish, my lord.
is dying. I, I can't. Yes, you can. My friends believed even when I didn't, and that gave me the strength to do what I had to do. Dorian told me there was a weapon for good other than magic and steel. Faith. Yes. In my vision, I saw the Turanian mages on their knees. Yes. It has to be. They were praying. Who were they praying to? There was a mask made from acorns and oak leaves in the temple of Obert High. The god of nature. He has power over all the elements. The Turanians were praying to Obad High.
Laura dies. He has cursed her. What do I care of curses? For Laura is all that stands between Ishmael and destruction. Justice will be brought to this monster. I promise you. Lux, you are not your brother. Remove the curse, or I'll kill you and have you brought back into the agony of the undead. In time, you will realize you have merely saved your own tomb. I look forward to watching you rot in it. We rot together then. <laughs>